We're heading out. It's been a nice long time here. We did all of our van renovations here. And now we're gonna leave and head on to our next spot. We're heading to Casa Tercada, although they have renamed this attraction a couple of times. So this is called the Terracotta House or House of Mud. Something crazy here in Via de Leiva. Look at this thing. Just some really nice curves on this. Weird statues. And I guess we get to go up on top of it too. Check out the view. Let's check it out here. I wonder how you fire a clay outside. outside. You'd have to like make a fire touching it somehow. Whoa, and these chairs over here. I like that. Let's see you in there, Emily. Oh I want to see you sit on that one. Oh, wow. That's it. That's what Dang, I like. we're moving in. Mm -hmm. I know we just renovated the van, but we're moving in. You should have come here first for some inspiration. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine something like this in a van? <laughs> Build your van out of clay. An architect from Bogota named Octavio Mendoza envisioned and sculpted this enormous clay structure. No other materials were used for the support. We aren't allowed inside due to COVID restrictions, but we can peer in through the windows past the metal sculptures. Mendoza built this house utilizing the strong high altitude sun to bake and harden the clay. Welcome to the castle. Hot water showers. Yeah, they got a solar water heater. Yeah. Dang, this thing in the middle is probably the coolest thing though, huh? Look at this little fireplace up here on the roof. You can chill up here. Right here. Oh, we haven't seen this part. This place is like a maze. Thank you. Oh, so this must be what they were saying. They said you gotta look in one of these. Whoa. And that's the master bedroom down there. Oh. This is really, really cool. I'm loving it. Love these doorways. So here we're going to stay for the night at this fossil museum. It's got a pretty sweet view though. We can go to the museum in the morning. It's pretty nice of them. Looks good, <laughs> Emily. What'd you make? Um, I think I'll call this everything left over in the, in the in fridge curry. <laughs> it's a coconut milk curry with zucchini, tomato, 
onion, pepper, carrots. Ah, so this is our first dinner. Leaving that place, we stayed there forever, huh? Yeah. Whoa, feels like the end of an era. Mm hmm This looks so good though, babe. Yeah, now we're out on the road again, heading sort of towards Bogota. Oh, it's time to feed the dog. Let me show you guys these tricks. Echate. Let me just lay down. Muerta. I mean, simply dead. Siéntate. Sit. Hola. Oh. Sube. Up. Baja. Down. Quieta. And then stay. Okay. She's a good girl. Wow, our first night back roaming and this brekkie's looking good. Up here, we slept at the Dinosaur Museum. Look at all these fossils on the wall. Excited to check it out today. Oh, and how'd the animals wake up? Look at this happy girl. Oh, what's going on, my guy? Well, some good news. We can take some Rita in the museum. Colombians love their dogs. When dinosaurs roamed Via de Leyva, Colombia, it was under the sea. It was home to all sorts of fish, ammonites, and ancient reptiles. In 1977, farmers accidentally uncovered this Kronosaurus, the only fossil of this creature to this day. Instead of taking the skeleton and putting it somewhere else, the farmers who found this big fossil built a structure around it. And I absolutely love this idea. Almost all of the fossils found here are from animals that lived in the ocean and every fossil in the museum is real. None of them are replicas. The plaques state back in the day people could walk the streets of Via de Leyva and stumble upon a dinosaur bone and this is not common in other places in Colombia. These bones are from a land dinosaur that was believed to have died and floated out to sea. Pretty sweet museum, and we did a little shopping for Christmas. Oh, this is actually for Sabrita, though. We're gonna put some treats in here because she hasn't been as well behaved as usual. Yeah. <laughs> oh, let's see how Grammy is in here. Oh, little buddy. Are you good in here with all the fans on? He just took a nap, didn't he? Didn't even move. Just see the van back there. But we're finally getting some good weather to do this hike we've been meaning to do the entire time we've been here. Oh, I'm excited. We're going up there, way up there. You can kind of see a white cross or something. Woo! Should be a good one. Look at her go. Sombrita! <laughs> Go! 
Corre! That's when you gotta roll the R's. Corre! Corre! It's a good one to practice your R's. All right, here we go. Getting off road. Heck yeah, it's crazy thinking we haven't even been on a hike in like forever doing all that van work. Yeah, but we walked up and down to the town a bunch. True, true. Like five miles. So this hike is pretty straight up. <laughs> But we passed people on the way and they said it's only about an hour. That doesn't seem bad. last thing that we're doing in Villa de Leyva. It's such a nice little town. We really, really enjoyed our time here. We've been here for about two weeks, which is a really long time for us. Usually we don't stop for that long, but we did all those renovations here and it's just a really nice town. We're excited to go back to Bogota because we're going to pick up my mom soon. Yeah, that's going to be really awesome. And then I'm super excited for after that going to the USA again. Yeah. I haven't been back in two years since we left with the van into Mexico, which is the longest I've ever been in my life, by far out of the yeah. country. So I'm actually really excited to go see family. Oh, and ski. We missed yeah. out on the skiing last winter. Last winter being hot and not being able to ski. So this, I'm glad we're gonna be able to ski this winter. And hopefully it's not the only time we can ski this year. Down in Chile. Yeah, so hopefully we get to ski on my birthday. It would probably be the best gift ever for me. Via de Leyva, just a cute colonial town down here. I guess the Spaniard moved here named Leyva way back in the day and he had a house of Villa. Great hike, great spot, but we're heading back to the big city. This is a free hike. Great view down here. That's the, the main plaza. There's like a fancy resort here. I guess this is the spot to stay if you want, you know, a real fancy experience. Got a nice pool there and this hike is pretty close as well. Thanks so much for enjoying being at Leyva with us. We'll see you guys next time for some more renovations before our guest arrives in the big city.